This video was made possible by the Content Creator Program. An MCOC champion is temporarily granted to select accounts for the purpose of allowing the community a first look at a new champion coming to the contest. All granted champions are removed from accounts before they are officially released to the community. Hey everyone, Shadow here, and welcome to another Marvel Contest of Champions video. So in this video, we're going to be taking a first look at Silver Surfer. And remember, he's only a rank 3 5-star, SIG 200. That's what we were given as part of the Content Creator Program grant. So we'll take a look at his attributes here and uh, switch over there. You can see his block proficiency is pretty decent there. Critical damage rating, all right. Uh, doesn't look uh, too good, too bad. Let's take a look at the synergies here. Now, this first synergy, once per fight, if Silver Surfer were to lose more than 25% of his life in a single hit, he instead consumes the Power Cosmic buff and gains an indestructible buff for six seconds. That seems very good. We don't know who that's with. Some are saying Galactus. It could very well be. We'll see. Uh, the next one here, reduce the cooldown of Silver Surfer's Power Cosmic buff by three seconds. We'll talk more about that Power Cosmic buff uh, when we look at his abilities. Uh, and that's with Doctor Strange and Hulk. Next one here, board attacks generate 30% less power for the opponent. So you have a little power control mechanic there. Uh, and that's with Mysterio and Night Thrasher. The last two are not all that exciting, their armor rating and critical rating. All right, now let's take a look here at his ability, abilities. Now his signature ability, uh, all buffs on Silver Surfer have increased potency. So that means more damage. Does that mean he needs to be awakened? I don't know. Uh, from what I've seen, his damage is kind of lackluster. So anything would help. All right, and if you take a look here at his passive, Silver Surfer takes 100% less damage from Cold Snap, Incinerate, and Shock debuffs. Each stack of these debuffs counts as a unique buff of Silver Surfer's abilities. All right, so what that means is that he's not immune to any of those. So if you have the Willpower Mastery, you're going to be healing up if you have any of these debuffs on you. And because they count as a unique buff, you're going to be dealing more damage, all right? And you hear that um, right next to the next statement, each hit deals a burst of energy damage for each unique buff. This scales with base attack only, all right? So the more you have, the more unique buffs you have, the more damage you'll do, all right? Now, here's that power cosmic buff. At the start of the fight, Silver Surfer generates an indefinite power buff, uh, power cosmic buff. Uh, if this buff ends for any reason, it'll return in nine seconds. Now, you remember that synergy? It reduces it by three seconds, all right? So that's how that comes into play here. Uh, while the cosmic, uh, power cosmic buff is active, Silver Surfer rotates between dormant icons every two seconds in the order of power rate, fury, and armor up. And we'll talk about what each of those do in a moment. Uh, consuming the power cosmic buff converts the dormant icon into an active buff and inflicts three armor break debuffs, each reducing the opponent's armor rating by 352 for 12 seconds, max of three. All right, now here are those rotating debuffs. And you can see here the power rate Increase power rate by 15% for 15 seconds. Fury increases your attack uh, for 24 seconds. And armor up increases the armor rating uh, for 24 seconds. Now, when you're charging a heavy attack, if available, consume the power cosmic buff and create a phase buff, causing opponents 100% chance to miss for one second. A little uh, ghost action, but not really. Uh, yeah, he can phase. Uh, it's more to me like Kingpin, where you have a little bit of time where you're going to be able to charge and fire off your heavy without having to worry about them interrupting it. That's kind of what I see that as. 
All right, special attacks. They pause the duration of Silver Surfer's power cosmic buff cooldown, his rotating dormant icons, and all active buffs until the special attack ends. All right, and here are his special attacks. Let's attack one. If available, it consumes that power cosmic buff. Of course, if the buff is down, it doesn't consume it. Uh, and creates two buffs based on whichever dormant icon was active. Uh, if at least three unique buffs are active when launching this special attack, gain a vigilance buff, allowing all attacks to bypass miss for 12 seconds. Uh, that doesn't seem very useful. There's not that many uh, champions in the game where that would be useful against. I mean, Ghost, maybe, I don't know, um, Hood, but it doesn't seem all that useful. All right, uh, special attack two. Uh, Silver Surfer increases the potency of any bursts of energy or physical damage by 180 for the duration of this attack. Uh, if at least three unique buffs are active when launching this special attack, Silver Surfer creates an unblockable buff for four seconds. And the special attack three, gain an aptitude buff, increasing the potency of Silver Surfer's fury, armor up, and precision buffs by 25% for 24 seconds. Then re-trigger each of Silver Surfer's active rotating buffs. Each aptitude buff on Silver Surfer also increases the potency of his power rate buffs by 25%. All right, we're going to go into Realm of Legends and beat up on Winter Soldier. And I will talk to you a little bit more about Silver Surfer. All right, so here's the team that I'm going in here with. Now, this is not going to showcase the best damage that he is capable of. As you heard, he does more damage for each unique buff on him. And because we're not going to be suffering from incinerate or cold snap or any of those, he's not gonna be doing as much damage as he potentially could. All right, so the purpose of this is not to show you guys the best rotation to use, but it's only to show you his animations. And I will talk a little bit more about Silver Surfer uh, while the fight goes on. And then I will give you my conclusions or my first impressions of Silver Surfer. All right, so his animations are not that bad. I, I like them. Uh, they're not the best. I could have hoped for a little bit more. Uh, his special attacks, this one here, especially I like. I do like that special two uh, animation there, and it seems to do a fair bit of damage. Uh, his special three, which you'll see in a moment, is pretty cosmic, I would say. All right, so we're just working up to that special three now. Uh, so you guys have already seen the special one then the special two and so now work up to the special three uh, keep in mind that I'm also running suicides so the damage you see him doing here uh, is inflated by those all right take a look at this I do like his uh, special three animation as well look at that he's taking him up boom that is sweet looking all right, so you've seen all that I want you to see, and we're going to just keep going and fight this Winter Soldier. Uh, you saw the heavy attack puts up those uh, three armor breaks, but here's what we were given from the devs on Silver Surfer. All right, uh, what we were told is that uh, Silver Surfer's gameplay is focused on creating and maintaining as many unique buffs as possible. Each unique buff increases his on-hit energy damage and enables him to create new powerful buffs when launching special attacks. That's uh, what I mentioned earlier. Uh, now, his strengths incinerate, cold snap, shock debuffs. Uh, as you heard, each incinerate, cold snap, or shock debuff on Silver Surfer deals 100% reduced damage and counts as a unique buff for his abilities, greatly increasing his potential damage output. 
Mixed with the willpower mastery, Silver Surfer will be able to regenerate health while affected by these debuffs. High energy damage, that's another one of his strengths. Each unique buff deals a burst of energy damage on hit. Silver Surfer's special two greatly increases the amount of damage generated by this ability. Uh, another one of his strengths, he counters Miss Champions. Silver Surfer gains a new Vigilance buff with his special one, allowing him to bypass champions reliant on Miss abilities, basically Ghost. Now, this may become more useful if they start adding more champions that rely on that Miss mechanic. Uh, if planned correctly, this buff can be refreshed by Silver Surfer's other abilities to increase the amount of time it's available. All right, so his weaknesses, Nullify, Fate Steal, and Stagger. They will shut Silver Surfer down. If players can keep him below three unique buffs, most of his potential abilities will never trigger. So that's something useful to know uh, if you're going up against him. And to keep in mind, if you are choosing him to go against someone else, you don't want to do that if they nullify Fate Seal or Stagger. Ability Accuracy Modification. Uh, lowering Silver Surfer's ability accuracy is another good route when trying to slow him down. Likewise, to nullifies, this will prevent him from ever ramping up his buff count. Energy Damage Resistance. Any energy damage is the primary source of Silver Surfer's damage. Facing an opponent with high energy resistances, and I'm thinking like Havoc, will stifle his offensive potential significantly. All right, uh, let's see. Developers note, this burst of energy damage on hit will be Silver Surfer's primary source of damage. Silver Surfer will excel when hunting champions that have little energy resistances or weaknesses to energy damage. All right, and then it goes on to talk about the uh, power cosmic buff that we already mentioned, the uh, rotating buffs. Uh, let's see, talks about the the charging heavy attack, which is what we uh, mentioned. I don't see anything here that is new. Uh, developers note this ability, the charging heavy attack, will be the most reliant, reliable way for Silver Surfer to consume his power cosmic buff and create his available rotating buff. Players should charge a heavy attack and cancel the charging animation with a special attack to maximize active unique buffs. So that's a little uh, developer tip uh, that I did not uh, do in the gameplay at all. Uh, his signature ability, uh, all buffs on Silver Surfer have uh, increased potency. Okay, we talked about that. Uh, special attacks, they pause his uh, the duration of the uh, cooldown. Yep, we talked about that. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh, and the developer's note says that that ability makes it easier for Silver Surfer players to maintain all of their buffs and not worry about one ending during a special attack. Okay, so that, that makes sense. All right, and let's see, it goes into the uh, special attacks as well. Uh, special attack one, the developer note, was that uh, this special attack provides a quick way to gain multiple stacks of a buff and allow Silver Surfer to generate a unique buff. Uh, special attack two, the developer note says, once Silver Surfer is sitting on a comfortable number of unique buffs, launching the special two can be devastating for the opponent champion. If the unblockable buff is something to be desired, players can hold on to their power cosmic buff until after this special attack has concluded and refresh its duration. All right, and the special attack three, developer note says, by re-triggering all of Silver Surfer's rotating buffs, they gain the beneficial effects provided by the aptitude. Uh, the recommended masteries are dexterity. I mean, that's recommended for pretty much everyone. Uh, but in addition to just a general use, the, preci the precision granted by the dexterity counts 
as an additional unique buff for Silver Surfer's abilities. Uh, if activating Dexterity, then charging a heavy attack to activate Phase and create a rotating buff, Silver Surfer will have three unique buffs before launching a special attack. So these are things that you can do even if the opponent doesn't give you an incinerate, cold snap, or any of those things, all right? And willpower, due to Silver Surfer's unique immunities, he's not really immune, uh, he keeps the debuffs without taking any of the damage, allowing willpower to freely regenerate. Extended Fury, any increases to the duration of Silver Surfer's buffs will make refreshing them much easier. Combine this mastery with synergies provided by other champions to increase Silver Surfer's buff duration significantly. All right, so what do I think of Silver Surfer? My first impressions here are that he seems to be a little lackluster. I'm not really impressed by Silver Surfer. Uh, he seems to be more of a prestige champion uh, he's the new king of prestige over Doom, but Doom is actually a good champion. Silver Surfer doesn't seem to be that good. Not horrible, but not as good as I was hoping he would be. Uh, to do good damage seems to be a little more complicated than most players are going to want to deal with. Why deal with a champion that you have to worry about the buffs and get the rotations just right uh, to get damage, which even when you get it all right, doesn't seem like it's all that great. When you have other champions that are far simpler to get uh, the most damage out of them. So that's my take on him right now. Uh, I'll go for the three and the four star for sure. But the five star, no. Uh, I'm sure he's going to break records. Well, not break records since Doom, uh, but because of his prestige, he's going to be a very highly sought after champion. So uh, he's going to go high in the arena. But that's going to do it, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you found it informative. Uh, hopefully it'll help you make your decision as to whether to go for this champion or not. Uh, but that's going to do it. Click like, subscribe, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought about the video. And you all have a blessed day.